Welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up with Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P, aka Kia the Crafter. And we are here with another resin project. Yeah, we're gonna hook up another purse um, without a mold. How about that? Yeah. So before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new content and give me some thumbs up and share okay appreciate you thank you for all the subscribers who have subscribed so far thank you for everyone who tuned into the live appreciate it we'll be doing more live so that'll give you the opportunity if you missed the first one you will catch the next one okay all right so with no more further ado we're gonna go ahead and get this party started yes so what i'm doing now is getting ready to grab because I've already like um, spray painted some of the um, shells already. And so now we about to move on to the next segment of our project. So I'm going to take you down in a minute so that you can see where we are. Okay. All right. And so it's nighttime. We are outside and we are here with two of our purse shells. They have been poured already. Check them out. Let me spray paint it already with our white flat protective enamel rust oleum. Okay. We did it with the white for our base because this purse is going to be a black and white purse. And so, again, what I want to do, and I'm just taking it off because it has been sitting overnight. So it's kind of stuck. Is I want to make sure that we um get somebody's barbecuing and it smells really really good really really good so what we're gonna do is take our trusty dawn dish soap like we did the last time and we're going to see it see it is dripping already we're gonna drip it and drizzle it back and forth not too much I think I did it too much the last time so we gonna come back and just nice little drizzles back and forth yeah like so all right and let that sit for a second and we're gonna come back with our next step sit tight all right we are back with our two-in-one which is a paint and primer gloss in black and we're gonna go ahead and spray paint right over the shelves like so I don't know I hope it come out right making sure that we coat it good I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera because I have it in my hand and make sure we coat it coat it pretty good and let it sit and we gonna see guys how it come out okay so sit tight all right guys we are back with the um, finished Pour or rinse off. I rinsed it off. Do a little bit of glitter 
gel in there um, with this type of glitter gel but in silver um, I got that from the Dollar Tree now I have my resin about four ounces mixed up here and I'm gonna pour it right on top I have it elevated on a couple of cups I'll take this one off so you can see what I'm talking about. A couple of cups, little plastic cups. Got it elevated on one, on some of those so that the resin will drip off of the frame. And we're going to go ahead and pour because it's been sitting for a minute and it's getting warm. And yeah. Which is, you know, okay because it's all we're going to do with it. It on this purse. Smooth it all over this purse. Before we start to run, we want to get it covered. I'm going to get my spatula here. So I can start making sure that it's covered. I hope this come out okay. Um, it looks pretty. I like it. I just, again, I hope it come out okay. I'm just making sure I'm getting all of the... And it's moving around, which I don't like that. But I'm going to try to hold it on this side since I haven't put, touched it with the resin yet making sure that this side and the corner is getting nice and covered. Got a little mat. You know, I already then got into my other project. I had to do it over. I was so upset it was done. Cover this all over. My phone's on. I'll let me record a couple minutes at a time, so because I have so many videos, I need to get rid of some stuff. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty, y'all. I'm just pouring more on top. This look prettier with the resin. Oh my goodness. Now that it has been smoothed out a little bit, it looks really, really good. Like it looks real good. That resin did wonders. It just got it looking all glossy. I just need it to quit moving. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's an even or something. This is looking real pretty. Still got some resin left. Just want to make sure. Get it along. Put these edges and sides.
the rest of them just a little. I gotta put my cord on here, but I'm gonna make sure everything is covered first, just in case I need it somewhere. Check it against the light. All right, and I'll come back and show y'all once. Finish it up. What I'm gonna do next? Got a few minutes. So, I just don't want this little mat to get in my project. I'm gonna have to cover this. Because I'm gonna leave it sitting now. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So that you can be notified when we upload a new project. Because y'all don't want to miss none of these projects, right? They're so beautiful. And if you got the materials, you can be trying some of these techniques at home. I, I really like... Um, doing the purses this way I don't know it's just I, I like it's like you can get more personal with it more control of the design this way um, like I came in and did some of this uh, some of the striations in this artwork with my hand hand painted some of it just touched it up a little bit in certain areas because the actual pour didn't give me the look that I wanted but you can't really tell the difference you can't really tell the difference it looks really really pretty I'm gonna check it on this side just to make sure everything is covered because we want to make sure everything got resin on it every little area y'all this is so pretty it's shiny it's shiny it's pretty it's about to be super smooth as soon as I hit it with this um Hit it with the torch. Yep, I'm gonna fire it up and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all the finished finished product. And we'll put it together and then we'll we gotta put our insides in and we'll be all set. And I'm just getting some of this, making sure that these ends are covered and smoothed out as it run down. Okay, and we'll be back mom in a moment. Sit tight. Okay, now we're gonna hit it with the fire and smooth it out. Get all of the excess bubbles out. Just making it super, super pretty. I had to do it in segments because my phone, the storage is just, I got to get, I got to post some of these videos. I got videos just sitting, so they coming, guys. I'm trying to complete them and stretch them out and all that good stuff, but I'm coming. Oh, this is so pretty with a nice black dress. Girl, or even a white dress, and that'll give you just you know that pop of 
um, pizzazz, little attitude, little little snazziness to your outfit, a little snazziness. This is so cute. I'm just going over it with the torch. This I will not put in the resin oven, in the um, resin dryer. I will leave this out to dry. I will leave this out. Just so that it can stay smooth because resin moves and when you when I leave it out, I don't when I put it in the resin um, dryer the last time it gave me problems. It wasn't leveled, it wasn't smooth. I mean it was just horrible. I literally had to do an additional coat on it just to get it like it should look. So I like this. I'll just let it sit out. I probably have to make more boxes like this so I can have more than do more than one purse at a time but this is so pretty oh I'm in love I'll be like that with all of them but they just I don't know them sit and we'll be back with the um, putting the insides in we're gonna do the inside and then we will put it in the frame and we'll be all set and ready to go so tomorrow it will be completed <laughs> as it sit for its couple hours it probably it, it won't even be 24 hours It'll be dry by 6 a.m. So it is roughly now about 10-ish, 11, somewhere up in there. So not quite 24 hours, but yeah. I still got a little bit of resin left that I need to just kind of get out of my cup. <laughs> just get it out of my cup. Not much, but we need to get out of my cup so I can clean it. But yeah, um, doesn't um, just I'm just gonna let it sit out and be beautiful. So we'll come back with the next part, okay? So sit tight. Okay, guys, and we are back with our finished clutch purse. But before I reveal it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Give me some thumbs up and hit that notification bell, okay? And with no further ado, you ready? You ready? You ready? There she goes. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. It came out beautifully. Y'all see that shine on it? Oh, yes. Super, super cute. Side shields. Couldn't find a clear one, so I used the iridescent side shields, chain on the inside, right? And that's the inside of the purse. Nice, clean, clean, clean. Okay, Shh. go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload new video content. I got a glove on because I just wiped her down to get ready to go to the pop-up, but there she goes, okay? Thank you so much, and I will catch you on the next one. We got more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Bye-bye to the next video.